Welcome to this video of introduction of the course where we will challenge forensic science and we will discuss how science should speak to court. The overall aim of this course is to develop a critical eye on forensic science. Contrary to popular belief that science speaks with certainty to court, we will show that forensic results need to be considered with care accounting for its own uncertainties. Let us illustrate this point with a case very similar to the ones that we will study in this course. The course will take place over five weeks in five different locations. On week one, we will film from a microscopy room that is dedicated to the comparison of firearms and tool marks. There, we will study the principles of forensic evaluative reporting. We will kick off with a fibre case. This will allow us to focus on how to manage uncertainty that characterise life in general and the criminal trial in particular. In the second week, we will film from the microscopy room and study the importance of understanding the issue with which forensic science can help the court with. We will discuss cases involving material recovered in small quantity, for example fibres or gunshot residues. On week three, we will see how we analyse DNA and thus this session will be mainly filmed from our DNA laboratory. We will discuss the aspects surrounding DNA interpretation, notably how to assess complex DNA profile and how to account for the possibility of errors. Week 4 will be dedicated to how forensic scientists should convey the value of their results. From our white room dedicated to photography, we will study famous cases, including the Dreyfus case, and see how statistics can be misused. Our last week, week five, will be filmed from our fingerprint laboratory. There, we will discuss the Dalaga case involving hairprints, the Mayfield and McKee cases involving fingerprints. We want to make you understand what is at stake when an expert decides to conclude to an identification. <laughs> <laughs> 